Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestmung channel. Guys, I am Ram Kesting, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. So friend, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about Unity Render Pipeline. What is the Unity Render Pipeline and how many Unity Render Pipeline we have and on which platform, which Unity Render Pipeline we should do use, we are going to discuss in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I am going to explain you if you want to ask any question, so just drop in the comment box if you want to add something so just drop in the comment box so that other people can get benefit from there so let it start the today video so friends first of all let's understand what is the render pipelines whatever you create here this is the scene means here you can see whatever you create here this is the scene and whatever we saw in the game this is the render okay so basically all the scene material all the scene ingredients you can call or all the scene part how it's going to render on the game screen so that is called render unity use many kinds of render to show the all the scene part in the game what it does it does all the calculation of the lighting shadows means it calculate everything and on the basis of that uh, it also uh, check how compatible how strong your system is on, so on the basis of that it shows it rendered the content from scene to game screen so basically in the simple language you can understand that a render pipeline perform a series of operations that take the contents of a scene and display them on the screen okay basically it calculate all the lighting shadows mean it calculate everything pixels all the computational logics you create a normal project from unity hub like you create unity so here, here you can see there are templates 2d 3d as high definition rp urp so basically when you create 2d 3d so that is called standard pipeline that is called standard pipeline and when you choose hdrp so it's create hdrp render pipeline if you choose uni urp universal render pipeline and these are the different karting micro game or fps micro game so these are the basic templates download them but basically when you create so by default that is the standard render pipeline and when you choose sdrp or urp so it's called another render pipeline which provide by the unity so let me explain you that how many kinds of how many kinds of render pipeline we have we have a standard pipeline we have urp universal render pipeline we have sdrp that is high definition render pipeline so basically earlier there was srp you might be get confused what is the srp so earlier it was srp and they convert into the urp so basically srp and urp is same but now name is changed so you can call it urp and what people are saying most of people are saying that standard is not getting any updates updation from unity so might be it get deprecated in unity so nowadays people are using urp or sdrp what is the urp urp is universal render pipeline it works basically on all devices but it works mostly on all devices but it is optimized basically most basically we use for mobile games android ios and as well as for oculus or vr devices it's not so heavy configuration so we use in oculus as you know in oculus we use apk and oculus is not a very heavy device uh, oculus one oculus quest 2 that is not so much heavy and oculus quest pro is really very heavy so in the future might be we use the sdrp but urp basically we use for mobile and oculus and also use for window but for the window we use sdrp high definition 
render pipeline basically window devices mac xbox one ps4 these are a very heavy device high configuration devices so sdrp is you can say a big brother which can render a very good graphics on the system so sdrp be used for triple a games which run on high configuration devices like mac xbox one to get the idea that how many universal how many render pipeline we have in unity so in next tutorial what we are going to learn is that how we can create urp project and if you are already creating your standard project so how you can convert your project standard to urp so we are going to learn in next part so thanks for watching have a good day if you want to ask any question so just drop in the comment box and if you want to provide any more suggestion if you have any experience if you have do did you have if you have done any r d so just provide in the comment box so that other people can get benefit and don't forget to like subscribe and share thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video